Greetings! Unsettled souls! Welcome you to the Correct Views, friends. It's Sam I beat a Ganji. Who is that? Along with the Bulldog Calhoun, John Calhoun. We'll get to that in a moment, friends. I want to say real quick, we're doing something different today. Now, I don't know, I'm going to adjust this camera, so those of you watching on low def, you're going to go dizzy, Ooh, it's like an acid trip. Alright guys, here's what's going on. We, um, how many of you, uh, hello HDEF, hello low def, how many of you have been bullied in school? Or maybe you know somebody that has. Well, I haven't always been that cool dude that you know now, I, maybe not, no. Alright, I haven't always been as left alone as I am now. Sometimes in school I was treated rather poorly, as a matter of fact. And I didn't like it. It bothered me greatly. As a matter, it's something that stays with you. If you know someone that has been bullied, if you're bullied and you're watching this, maybe your friends don't even know. It's something you're watching right now and you didn't even really think about. You don't want to tell anybody you watched it, that's fine. We're going to let you know that, you know what, you're not by yourself. Your life isn't over. You don't need to kill yourself like uh, Soundgarden singer Chris Cornell. There are other ways to deal with it. And uh, we're going to talk about two things today with John Calhoun from The Beacon of Light. We're going to talk about, first of all, about local Ohio. How it is being a haven for abuse. And see, I'll name names, because I'm like a jerk like that. You guys know that. Mrs. Myricks. It was an 8th grade teacher that I had for mathematics. And not only did she bully the children, but one of the people who she made a foster child of attacked me with four other people once while I was skateboarding. And uh, I went down swinging, friends, but I went down. It was bad. And I remember that she was irrelevant. She would not even address the issue. And that's what I lived through. You know what? That's nothing. Bulldog, is that anything? That's nothing. That's pansy. No, that's... No. That's pansy. So we're going to let Bulldog uh, talk here. Uh, I call him Bulldog. It's John Calhoun. It's the Bulldog! Hoof, 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 hoof. We're going to go ahead, friends, and we're going to let Bulldog talk a minute about, uh, all jokes aside, all marking aside, what it is that we really do here. Um, if you're listening to this and you're going to attack a bully, don't do that. It just makes it worse. We're going to let Bulldog talk about some incidences that are actually happening right now in Ohio. Now, it is uh, 5 2017 and 10 17 in the morning as we go live, in the afternoon, evening, excuse me, as we go live. I'm so turned around with my job. Um, as we go live, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about uh, some of the things that are actively going on in today's bullying and in today's more problematic areas. Uh, Bulldog, go ahead and talk into that one more because the one down here I am just now configuring because ever-loving YouTube has altered it greatly. Now they are both live. Uh, we don't have anybody that's noticed it yet, so we're still good. Uh, John the Bulldog Calhoun, first of all, what is going on in Stark County that you can say, if you need to say allegedly, that means he thinks he has proof, but doesn't want to declare it. And if he declares it without allegedly, it means that he's calling it out, to be clear. Bulldog, the floor is yours. <coughs> Hi, everybody. You know what bothers me in uh, the Stark County and the surrounding areas is uh, this bullying going on. Um, you know, and it's not with just the kids. It's with the adults. It's with the uh, teachers. It's with the principals. It's with the whole entire school system. You know, I have had people uh, Facebook me left and right saying that they're taking their children out of schools uh, because of the school system not wanting to do anything. Um, and that's why I am teaming up with another organization uh, from Savoyan, uh, Ohio, uh, which is like probably 10 minutes away from Toledo. Uh, they are called uh, Bullfrogs Against bull Bowling. All right, now you're, you're the bulldog. Was that a coincidence or did you plan this? Well, actually it's a coincidence. Um, now you are not the bullfrog. I am not the bullfrog, no. Okay, I'm just uh, being clear. No. We don't want to do fake news of the correct news. No, the, the, the true bullfrog uh, 
uh, is is Maddie. I'm sorry, Maddie Shrook, uh, and uh, uh, it is her mom, uh, who is Kelly Shrook, who started the organization, um, and we have teamed up together with Beacon of Light and with Bullfrogs against Bowling uh, to take a major bite out of the bowling mess here. Just like how you take a bite out of the crime, well, we're going to take a bite out of the bowling mess. Now, what's happening in Stark County that you are allowed to say, you mentioned off camera, that a lot of it is stuff that you know but you can't know with proof that you can give. What is it that you can say that's happening in Stark County, first of all, that you know you can say, and what are some of the things that you suspect to be going on? Okay, let me let me be honest with you guys. Um, I live in the location of Maslin, Ohio. Uh, About ten minutes from me for you regular right, viewers. Right, which is uh, it's still almost in the heart of uh, uh, Stark County. And if you guys know about the... Uh, uh, high school football team, you know, the Tigers, you know, um, yeah, that's, Bulldogs. You know, yeah, Bulldogs, uh, you know, but anyways, that's the, uh, uh, that's the school, uh, that I'm having a real hard problem with, um, the superintendent, uh, wants to deny, you know, wants to deny everything, you know, um, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, uh, these people don't know what they're talking about, and, and there's no problem to this and that, whatever. Look, there is a problem. I'm 45 years old. There was a problem when I was in school. There's still a problem. But it's getting worse. It's getting a whole lot worse. What's happening is, is you got kids who's not just flinging one another against the wet towel or anything, but it's kids telling other kids to go commit suicide. That's crazy out Now, here. I want to intercede here. For some of you that don't know, if you think we don't know what we're talking about, he's uh, a year on paper, but like nine months older than I am, and we went to school at Lehman Junior High School, and if you think that that wasn't a rough school, then maybe you might know about a certain individual named Brian Warner. No? Well, maybe you know him by his other name, Marilyn Manson. We went to school with him. And when he's talking about being bullied in school, he's talking about it happening in the same school that Bulldog and I went to. So don't tell us that it's not happening, because you guys have heard it talked about by somebody far more popular than Bulldog and I via Marilyn Manson for years. Now, if you are the superintendent of Manson School, do me a favor, if you see this video, you're welcome to sit in the same chair he's in. Bulldog, as a matter of fact, if he takes us up on this offer, will you talk with him on camera? I'll talk to him. I'll talk to anybody. So you are invited. Now, Bulldog, will you be mean to him or mean to, in any way? No, I... I he is invited, is he I not? am. I am the kind of person that wants to have answers. I'm not going to, you know, jump all over you. I'm not going to, you know, pull your brains out of your own head. I just want to sit here and find out why you personally think, you personally think that there's no absolutely cause or reason that there's bullying this in Massillon City Schools or other areas in the Stark County or elsewhere. You know, I'm also dealing with and mentoring with people with disabilities. Now, come on. I mean, this is nuts. This is really, really crazy. They have not been asked when they were born to have a disability. They did not ask for that disability to be labeled upon them. But that's how the cards were dealt when they were born. Okay? But they're still being bullied. They're still being bullied. And is anything being done to help them when no, they report it? No. There 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 there's all this talk about you know that there's all this talk about that everybody wants to help. But when it comes down to the bottom line, oh hands off. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. I don't have you know you know what? It's like this. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because when you guys are serious to take a bite 
without a bulletness, then I'm always here for you. I'll support you guys 100%. But if you guys don't want to do anything, and I just hear a bunch of bullcrap talk, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. All right. Now, I'll tell you what, friends. There's two things you need to know here. First of all, you guys know I'm a libertarian. But see, and this happens to be something that Bulldog and I agree with. The whiny Democrats, who we both don't really have much of a like for. There's one thing the Democrats say that him and I agree with. Health care is a human right. You know what else is a human right? If I make a joke about him liking to sleep with goats, it's only allegedly true, by the way. All right, it <laughs> might be true. You know what? All jokes aside, it can, you can still share the video. It's PG-13. It's a joke. Okay, and if you're whining about a joke, we're not talking about you. Okay, get over it. Make another joke back. We're talking about people who are genuinely bullied, who are afraid to get up in the morning based to... Uh, based on, I should say, the kind of violence that they're going to see when they get to school. Now, we've talked about locally what John Calhoun here beside me, a lifelong friends, believe is going on in locally. Now, a lot of you that are still with me, you're going to say, I don't care, I'm not from Ohio, I'm not, I'm not national. Um, to those listeners, let's, let's factor out everything you just said. What is Beacon of Light and how does it affect somebody in Alaska? in Utah, in Texas, somebody that isn't from here, never heard of Maslin, never heard of McKinley, uh, Mr. Calhoun, what is it that's going on with Beacon of Light and why should they care? Beacon of Light is a organization that we want to reach out and touch people's lives. We want to help you learn who you are. There's a lot of people out there, maybe like yourselves. I know it was almost like me at one time in my life. I got my ass beat more than a punching bag in school, so I'm with him. I, I ain't hiding nothing. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know because I didn't have any friends. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have nothing. And I thought, who am I? I mean, what's wrong with me? Why don't I have a girlfriend? Why don't I have friends? Why don't I have, you know, everything that... My other friends has. But you know what? I came to the point. I came to this conclusion that I have to know who I am before I can help other people get to know who they are. And you know, it's like this. When people call me the Bulldog, Oof! that's where it starts. Yes, I am John Calhoun, or Reverend John, or Reverend JC, or whatever you want to call me. But there's times that when a bulldog comes out, woo, I start barking hur, 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 to help people to realize they are important. That's you. Like you. Now, I'll tell you what, friends, before I jump off here for the day. Maybe you've been messed with in school. You know what? It's impossible to get more hate mail than I do during this show. Do you know when my mom died, I had somebody tell me the reason she died is because she gave birth to somebody like you. Because they hated my political stance. What did I do? After being bullied in school, years later I became a writer and I've been shared on InfoWars, which is one of the ten biggest news sites in the entire world. Why? Because I ignored them. I didn't ignore them. They always have an effect. But I didn't let what people said about me when I was 14 affect who I am 30 years later at 44. Uh, Bulldog Calhoun, we went to school together. I mean, if you weren't like a jock at the school we went to, you were as good as nothing. But we just kept doing what we're doing. And he's running an organization now. Dude's on kidney dialysis. He's got more stuff going on than most of you completely healthy have going on. So if you support what it is that he talked about, and you support this video, then share it. And before I jump off, I'll remind you of two things. You can donate to this show with the correct views at Hotmail.com on PayPal.com. And the contact information for Beacon of Light and Bulldog Calhoun is... 330-327-3468.
I just have one more thing that I'd like to tell mm -hmm. you guys. I have stage five renal failure. That means I live on a dialysis machine. And the only reason why I'm doing this organization is because I don't look at myself. I don't focus on myself. I focus on people who is a lot worse than I am. I have Tourette syndrome. I have uh, PTSD. I have it all. He has a friend like me. Kind of I have a friend like him. Okay, but bad. It's but, real but bad. anyways, yeah. There there there's a great organization that uh, hasn't been uh, uh, promoted uh, yet, uh, but with Beacon of Light teaming up with Bullfrogs against Bulliness, there's an organization that's going to come out like a wildfire. It's called Kids in Crisis. And it's actually directed by the co-founder of Bullfrogs Against Bulliness, which is Kelly Shook. And she is a very, very great person. She's going to be a great person to talk to. Why? Because she is a life coach. And that's the greatest thing that you can ever do is sit down with a life coach and talk to her. She has maybe not all the answers that you want, but she can help you get to the answers that you need to get. If you want to volunteer with Beacon of Light or Bulldogs against not bulldogs, bullfrogs against bulliness. A ribbit, not woof. Please get a hold of me or Kelly Shook on Facebook. Or how do you spell that bulldog? It's K E L L I S H O O K. And you know. Or, or you can call me, and, and we'll set up a time, and we'll, me and Kelly will we'll sit down again. You know, we'll, we'll bring you on. And I'll tell you something else I'll do before we log off. Maybe you're worried that if you give your name, you're going to be even more bullied in school because you're going to be called a narc. I'll tell you what. Drop me a message at Deplorable DeGangie at Facebook or in the comment line of this video. If I don't reply, it's because I didn't get it and I get shared a lot of places. No, I did not ignore you. Uh, somehow, the correct views on Hotmail.com, let me know you're being bullied. Let me know what school it is and let me know who your superintendent is. Because Bulldog said you can't count on principals. No. Let me know who your superintendent is. And I promise you, if I had a Bible in here, I'd swear on it. I will not give your name to the people, the superintendent. I need to know the name of the bully, and I need to know the name of the superintendent in your school. And I will use what little, but rather impressive, because I'm blessed, not good. I'm not good. I'm just really blessed. I kind of suck. But because I'm really blessed, I have a few connections that make people listen to me when I give facts. Because I don't give facts unless I'm sure they're true. So once I'm sure that I know what you said is true, I'll make sure that your superintendent stops the bullying. You have my word. And not only that, people, but I, I will bark, hur, 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 and take a bite out of bulliness. Hey, guys, you. thank you for listening. If you want to donate uh, to the correct views at hotmail.com, you can donate through PayPal. If you want to donate to the Beacon of Light, he doesn't have anything set up right now to do it. Get a hold of me at Hotmail.com and let me know that you want to give it to him. We've been lifelong friends. I'll make sure he gets it. It's not a problem. Good night, friends. God bless. Thank you so much for listening to us. Please hit share. Please hit subscribe. And yeah, you know, again, I'm going to say one more time. If you can't deal with common kind of crass and sensitive comments that I make on a daily show... Like him liking sheep. Now, he likes female sheep, not male sheep, because he's not a freak. <laughs> if you can't deal with that kind of humor, then I'm sorry you're not being bullied. But if you're afraid to get up in the morning, if you're afraid what's going to happen to you, you're going to be attacked, or you're going to be hurt, or you're going to be bullied, let us know. And I promise you, we won't say who you are, but we'll make sure it stops. Good night, friends. God bless.